Have you ever wondered why someone who seems so quiet and introspective might suddenly lash out in violence? It's a question that baffles many, especially when it comes to the mysterious world of Sigma Empaths. Today, we're diving into a provocative topic, why do Sigma Empaths, who are typically known for their calm and solitary nature, sometimes exhibit such intense and violent tendencies? Are these traits inherent, or is there more to the story? In a world where social norms often dictate our understanding of personality types, Sigma Empaths stand out as the enigmatic loners who prefer solitude over social interaction. They're the deep thinkers, the quiet observers, who seem to navigate life on their own terms. Yet, despite their peaceful and introspective demeanor, Sigma Empaths are sometimes associated with unexpected bursts of aggression and violence. This paradox can be confusing and even alarming. In this video, we're going to peel back the layers of this complex personality type to uncover why Sigma Empaths might display violent behavior. We'll explore how their unique traits like extreme independence and a preference for solitude can sometimes lead to misunderstandings and frustration. But before we jump into the nitty-gritty of these tendencies, let's build some context around what it truly means to be a Sigma Empath and why their behavior might not be as straightforward as it seems. Number 1. Understanding Sigma Empaths Imagine a person who thrives in their own company, finding solace in the quiet corners of life while others are caught up in the whirlwind of social activities. This is the essence of a Sigma Empath. A Sigma Empath is someone who possesses a unique blend of empathy and independence. They are not just introverts who enjoy solitude, they are introspective souls who find meaning in deep reflection and personal growth. They navigate life on their own terms, often stepping away from societal expectations and traditional roles. Sigma empaths are defined by their quiet nature and deep thinking. They're the ones who prefer a book over a party and value meaningful conversations over small talk. Their independence is not about being antisocial, but about choosing their own path rather than following the crowd. This sense of self-reliance means they often reject social hierarchies and norms, which can make them seem like outsiders. To understand how Sigma Empaths fit into the broader social landscape, think of them in contrast to Alpha and Beta personalities. Alphas are the dominant leaders, always in the spotlight and driving the social scene, while Betas are more content to follow along and support the Alpha's direction. Sigma Empaths, however, don't fit neatly into either category. They aren't seeking leadership or validation from others instead. They carve out their own space, often remaining under the radar. This refusal to conform can lead to misunderstandings. People might view their preference for solitude and independent thinking as aloofness or even hostility, when in reality, it's simply their way of navigating a world that often doesn't fit their unique approach. This non-conformity makes Sigma empaths intriguing but also easily misunderstood. Their quiet demeanor and unconventional choices can lead to assumptions that they are detached or disinterested, when in truth, they are simply living authentically according to their own values. Understanding this is key to grasping why Sigma empaths might sometimes be seen as enigmatic or even troubling to those who value more traditional social roles. Number 2. Misconceptions and Stereotypes Picture this, you're at a party, and you notice someone sitting alone in the corner, deep in thought and avoiding eye contact with the bustling crowd. This person is a Sigma empath, choosing solitude over social mingling. But instead of being seen as a quiet observer, they're often misinterpreted. Their preference for being alone can easily be mistaken for rudeness or hostility. It's a classic case of how introversion, when misunderstood, can lead to unwarranted negative judgments. Many people jump to conclusions when they see someone who isn't engaging in typical social interactions. For Sigma empaths, their calm, reserved nature can be seen as a sign of aggression or a lack of interest in others. Stereotypes emerge, suggesting that because they prefer fewer, deeper connections over numerous superficial ones, they must be standoffish or even dangerous. This isn't the reality for Sigma empaths, who are simply navigating their world in a way that feels true to them. Our society often celebrates extroversion, the lively, outgoing type who thrives in social settings. This constant emphasis on social engagement and conformity can create a bias against those who operate differently. Sigma empaths, with their quieter approach and individualistic mindset, can be unfairly judged because they don't fit the mainstream mold. 
Their non-conformity and low profile are seen as deviations from the norm, leading to misunderstandings and misplaced fears. These societal expectations can distort how we view people who don't follow the usual social scripts. Instead of seeing Sigma empaths as thoughtful and self-reliant, society might label them as cold or aloof. This disparity between perception and reality highlights why it's crucial to challenge these stereotypes and better understand the true nature of Sigma empaths. Number 3. The Real Reasons Behind Violent Tendencies Imagine a Sigma empath who spends most of their time in solitude, quietly reflecting on life and its complexities. This preference for being alone isn't about avoiding people, but about finding peace in their own company. However, over time, constant isolation can start to wear on them. Without regular social interaction or support, frustration and loneliness can build up, sometimes leading to unexpected outbursts. It's not that Sigma empaths are inherently violent, but rather that emotional strain can occasionally push them to their limits. When Sigma empaths are isolated, they miss out on the social connections that help everyone manage stress and maintain emotional balance. The lack of regular, supportive interactions means that any buildup of frustration or unresolved emotions has fewer outlets. This can create a pressure cooker effect, where small frustrations or accumulated stresses might suddenly explode into anger or aggression. It's a reaction to being emotionally overwhelmed rather than a reflection of their true nature. Additionally, Sigma empaths often challenge societal norms and reject traditional roles. While this independence is a source of strength, it can also lead to friction with those who prefer conventional paths. When Sigma empaths push against these norms, they might face criticism, misunderstanding or even outright hostility. This constant conflict between their personal values and societal expectations can fuel feelings of anger or alienation. In moments of heightened frustration, this conflict might lead to more intense reactions than usual. Understanding these dynamics helps us see that Sigma Empath's violent tendencies are not a core part of their personality, but rather a response to the challenges they face. By recognizing the emotional pressures and conflicts they navigate, we can better appreciate their struggles and support them in healthier ways. Number 4. Emotional Intelligence and Management Let's picture a Sigma empath who's faced with a tough day, maybe they've been working alone on a project for too long, or they've had a run-in with someone who doesn't understand their unique approach to life. Without the usual support systems, these stresses can build up inside. This is where emotional intelligence comes into play. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage our own emotions, and to recognize and empathize with the emotions of others. For Sigma empaths, mastering this skill can make a big difference in handling life's challenges. To help manage their emotions effectively, Sigma empaths need to start by recognizing what they're feeling. It's like having a mental checklist, am I feeling frustrated? Angry? Sad by identifying their emotions, they can start to address them before they spiral out of control. For example, if they feel frustrated about a lack of social interaction, acknowledging this feeling is the first step towards addressing it. Next, understanding the root cause of these emotions is crucial. Sigma empaths should ask themselves, why am I feeling this way? Is it because of a specific event or a build-up of several things? By digging deeper, they can find the source of their frustration or anger, which helps in finding a solution. Finally, managing these emotions in a healthy way is essential. Instead of letting feelings bottle up, Sigma empaths can find constructive outlets. Writing in a journal, talking to a trusted friend, or engaging in creative activities can help in expressing and processing and processing emotions. Physical exercise is another great way to release built-up stress and clear the mind. By incorporating these strategies into their routine, Sigma empaths can better manage their emotional landscape, reducing the chances of their feelings erupting into anger or frustration. In essence, while Sigma empaths might have a unique way of experiencing the world, developing emotional intelligence helps them navigate their emotions more effectively. By recognizing, understanding and managing their feelings, they can lead a more balanced and fulfilling life. Number 5. Debunking the myth. Imagine you're walking through a busy park and you see someone sitting alone on a bench watching the world go by. 
This person, a Sigma empath, might seem distant or detached, but their quiet demeanor doesn't tell the whole story. Just like everyone else, Sigma empaths have a wide range of behaviors and responses. They experience joy, sadness, and everything in between, and their occasional moments of frustration don't define their entire character. It's essential to remember that they are not inherently violent or evil. These are stereotypes that don't reflect the complexity of who they are. Sigma empaths are often painted with a broad brush, with misconceptions painting them as isolated or dangerous. But this view overlooks their depth and diversity. Just as a quiet person in the park is not necessarily unhappy or unfriendly, Sigma empaths are not inherently prone to aggression. Their preference for solitude and non-conformity doesn't equate to negative traits, it's simply their way of engaging with the world. They, like all individuals, are shaped by their experiences, their choices, and their personal struggles, not by a single stereotype. To build a better understanding of Sigma empaths, we need to embrace a more nuanced view. Instead of seeing them through the lens of misconceptions and biases, let's appreciate their unique qualities and perspectives. They have their strengths and challenges, just like anyone else. By promoting empathy and acceptance, we can foster a more inclusive world where different personality types are valued for who they truly are. So next time you encounter someone who might not fit the conventional mold, remember that they bring their own set of experiences and perspectives to the table. Let's move beyond stereotypes and work towards understanding and accepting each other's differences. Sigma empaths, like all of us, deserve to be seen and appreciated in their full complexity. In today's video, we've explored the complex world of Sigma empaths and the misconceptions surrounding their behavior. We started by defining who Sigma empaths are introverted, introspective, and independent individuals who often reject societal norms. We uncovered how their preference for solitude and unique approach to life can sometimes be misunderstood, leading to stereotypes that inaccurately link them with violence. We also examined how isolation and non-conformity can contribute to frustration and emotional strain and discussed the importance of emotional intelligence in managing these feelings. The key takeaway is that Sigma empaths, like all people, are far more nuanced than common myths suggest. Their quiet nature and independent thinking don't make them inherently violent, they're simply navigating life in a way that feels true to them. Understanding and acceptance are crucial in appreciating the diversity of personality types and breaking down harmful stereotypes. I encourage you to rethink any preconceived notions you might have about Sigma empaths and to engage in open conversations about the rich variety of human personalities. By fostering empathy and challenging stereotypes, we can create a more inclusive and understanding world. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Your input helps us all learn and grow together. See you in the next video. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.